Assault rifles are definitely the most used weapons in the world. They're used by the infantry, reconnaissance group, assault units, and the special forces. Assault rifles have a number of advantages over other firearms, such as a higher rate of fire, maneuverability, reliability, and a decent amount of accuracy. Some assault rifles are so good that they can perform as machine guns and sniper rifles at the same time. Some of them have ranges of fire of up to 500 meters, and rapid fire capability allows them to wipe out whole enemy units in a matter of seconds. Most assault rifles weigh between two to four kilograms. This is also dependent upon the amount of modifications that are on the rifle itself. So these weapons are not like heavy machine guns. They can be carried by a person with normal physical strength. Number five, the Austrian AUG A3 Bullpup Assault Rifle. The A3 has been in production since the early 1970s. Its unique design has the magazine and action behind the trigger group, resulting in a shorter overall length and improved maneuverability. The A3 variant features a modular design allowing for customization and flexibility in the field, with options such as different barrel lengths and accessory rails. The A3 fires the NATO 556 by 45 mm cartridge and features a selective fire mode allowing for both semi-automatic and fully automatic fire. It has a maximum effective range of 400 to 500 meters and a rate of fire of 680 rounds per minute. The AUG A3 has been adopted by multiple armed forces worldwide and is popular among both military and civilian users alike. The A3 is the icon of bullpup rifle. It is well known for its reliability, accuracy and lightweight design. Despite some criticisms of the trigger pull and limited customization options compared to other rifles, the AUG A3 remains a popular and versatile platform for a variety of applications. Number 4. The Ash 12.7 is a Russian Avtomach Turmavoy 50 cal assault rifle chambered in 12.7 by 55 mm. It's a battle rifle designed for close quarters combat, developed at the request of the Russian Federal Security Service. The weapon was designed with extreme short range stopping power for the FSB's urban combat unit. The assault rifle features a bullpup layout, but the main feature of the weapon is its massive caliber. The weapon is quite heavy at 6 kilos for a loaded rifle with an attached silencer. Yes, you heard that right, a silenced 50 cal assault rifle. Beat that. You know what's interesting, most of our viewers are not actually subscribed to the channel, but today, ladies, I want to talk to you. I know I'm your guilty pleasure, so subscribe to The Gun Tour. Here you're going to find a lot of interesting stuff. Number 3 the Belgian FN F2000. During the late 80s and the early 90s, the famous Belgian arms manufacturer FN Herstal began the search for its new offering to the assault rifle world. The aim at the time was to produce a modern modular weapon and this ultimately resulted in the FN F2000 rifle, which was first shown to the public in 2001. The F2000 offers all the popular features of the modern assault rifle, such as has a compact bullpup layout, completely ambidextrous handling and a modular design with plenty of options and add-ons available. This allowed the rifle to be tailored for any particular mission or tactical situation. For example, for peacekeeping mission operations, F2000 could be fitted with less lethal M303 underbarrel modules that fire tear gas and marker projectiles using pre-compressed air. On the other hand, the F2000 could be fitted with various 40mm FN EGLM grenade launchers and a proprietary computerized fire control system instead of the standard low magnification optical sights. The unique feature of the F2000 rifle is its patented front ejection system in which the spent cases extracted from the chamber travel the rear part of the gun to the ejection port near the muzzle via a special ejection tube and fall out of the gun at a safe distance from the shooter's face. Number 2 the AEK 971. The 971 is based on previous AK rifles in internal design and layout. It features a balanced recoil system which works by shifting counterweight mass towards the muzzle of the rifle, resulting in more controllable automatic fire. For the AEK 971, automatic fire accuracy is improved by 15 to 20 percent in comparison with the AK 74M. The AEK 971 was developed to participate in a competition announced by the Ministry of Defense of the Soviet Union. 
but the AEK971 lost to the AN94. The initial AEK version differed from the modern samples as many innovations were perceived as unnecessary by the Ministry of Defense, which led to the simplification of the early model. The AEK971 is approximately half a kilo or 1.1 pounds lighter than the AN94, which was simpler in design and cheaper to manufacture. Number 1 the crown jewel, Heckler & Koch G11. Now, the G11 is an automatic rifle developed in the 1970s. It is famous for its high rate of fire of 2000 rounds a minute and the use of cassette type ammunition with caseless cartridges. It wasn't mass produced due to high costs and technical issues, but despite that, the rifle remains a well-known and interesting development in the field of weapons. Its unique ammunition design allowed for higher magazine capacities, reduced weight and eliminated eliminated the need for ejecting cartridges. This made it possible for soldiers to remain as concealed as possible while firing. Although it never saw a significant use among the military, it remains a milestone in small arms engineering. Early prototypes featured 50 round polymer magazines while latest versions feature 45 round magazines, one in the loaded position within the movable housing and two spare magazines on top of the rifle. The caseless ammunition design DM11 that appeared in the mid 1980s featured a telescopic design as the bullet was fully enclosed in the block of the propellant. The cartridge propelled the bullet that weighs 3.25 grams going at a mind-blowing 930 to 960 meters per second. Well guys, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and comment what you liked about the video, what you didn't like, what's wrong with you, what's wrong with me, what's wrong with the whole world, and which is your favorite weapon from this whole list. For me personally, it was the Russian recoilless assault rifle. It's just damn cool. So see you next time.